upgrade rare colorless card and lose all my gold or snipe now if we get a snipe we'll probably go for it but i'm a little bit interested in trying this rare colorless card and choosing it right we can get a snipe here potentially and then thereafter fight the sparkle and then go to another elite that's not that bad that's really not that bad if i can get three elites like that bam 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 only one campfire not the worst now if we lose all our gold and choose a rare colorless we go for a lot of hallway fights and then fight like a couple of elites so what do you guys want to see this is rare colorless so this is not even like a rare card not lesson learned it's like hand agreed is really the best thing we can get now we do apotheosis apotheosis is fun i like apotheosis Let's get bottle. Let's get bottle lighting now. Got the fate. It's the closest to lesson. It's like lesson in a, in a, in a backwards way. It's true. That's true. Oh shit! Wait. Wait, oopsies. Alright, if I upgrade. Uh, wait, I need to upgrade Apotheosis. Because this is awkward. Oops. My bad. I didn't have block anyway, so let's just treat it as if, like, I never played Eruption to begin with. I never had block. If you're no evil, great. Simmering Fury, at the next turn, you enter Wrath and draw two cards. And what's nice about this is like it draws two cards, that's what I'm thinking about. We also have Flurry of Blows, which is kind of nice because we have like Fear No Evil and Eruption and Vigilance. So I feel like Flurry Blows can get some value here. Now, Simmering Fury is interesting because the card draw can help me find Apotheosis and also entering Wrath more often is quite nice, especially when Fear No Evil exists. I, I kind of like Simmering Fury as another Wrath source. I don't know how much I really feel about it. I mean... It gives you card draw and gives you wrath source, so you can just like dump your wrath, right? I think it's a very good card. The card's kind of. I feel like my deck is already kind of getting kind of bloated, though, right? Like, already feeling sort of bloated. Oh, am I crazy? Um, how are we doing this? We're gonna take a we're gonna take a big risk and do that. We're taking a big risk and do that. All right, this is Jesus take the wheel. Hmm. Interesting. It's not the worst. Conclude. A doubt. Hmm. I want to upgrade this. I also want to upgrade conclude. Just like a naked conclude. Let's see how many elites we can do after this fight. Well, after this fight, I don't think I can do that many elites. Uh, hmm. Not doing elite and act one as the watcher? That's kind of crazy. That's, that's, that can't be good. That can't be good. Uh, uh, e. Hmm. Did eruption? Did I have lethal? If I did eruption, nine. No. I did have lethal. Nope, I did. I wouldn't. I didn't have lethal. Well. I'd probably just defend here because he's gonna die anyways, right? Maybe not. I mean, I could still do elites 
I can still do at least with this, actually. This was very good. I mean, I can still... No, I can't. Oh, I fucking can't. I should probably rest after the chest, because the chest could be max HP. The golden eyes, nice. Let's upgrade some cards that we'd want to, to be upgraded, if in the event that we... This is pretty good. Pretty good. So, eruption. Eruption. Conclude. It's 24 damage, right? Alright. So, I just need to do... This guy has 28 life, so if I just do eruption like that... Let's get over. And we'll cut, we'll cut through fits because we have Golden Eye. I think I'll take it. Alright, we're gonna take a risk. One, two, okay. Let's go. I wanna find Apotheosis. Yikes. Not bad. Some color isn't fine. Like water, when you end in calm, you, you get block, or you get this reality, which is a pretty decent block card, which we kind of need block at this moment. I think I need to block at this moment. And how often do we end in calm? If you don't even want vigilance, we might end in calm sometimes. I think I'd be deceived reality for now. We gotta survive one fight, and that fight's this fight right here. Kill him. More potions. Battle him. Battle him is very good. Do we actually want battle him? Did we need that consistent damage? Like, you can never say no to battle him, right? Or is it just flurry now that we have kunai? It might be flurry kunai because we have the scaling now with kunai. And we change stances a decent amount, I would say. With eruption, funeral evil, and vigilance. I mean, we can probably improve upon our stance changing a little bit. But we definitely changed stances and Flurry could be nice. Battle him also because of Kunai is true, but do we, don't we have like attacks in our deck that we want to play that are not smites? Or is it not consistent enough? I mean, let's be honest, like, Battle him's nuts. And when did I stop taking Battle him, snap picking it? Like, when did I snap, stop snap picking that? I really don't understand. It's really good for Act 2 too, right? I don't rest here, yeah? I mean, one bad draw and I'm dead. Uh, but I really want to upgrade. Okay, I'll rest, but I guess cause only because Apotheosis exists. Because since Apotheosis exists, I can get away with resting. I just bolt this by here, probably not. Simmering Fury? Sure. What's up, Death Lord? How you doing, buddy? Do I want to do a rush in here? I kind of do. Full, full block, and then I can stay in this form. It's pretty good. Turns. Now we get to smack him free, Willy. Bad. You have to keep Gold Spot. Maybe for the champ or something. Establishment makes the smites free. Right? So now that we have established we have smites, we establishment can help play with the smites, and if we make smites free. If we make the smites free, we could uh, do kunai more often, right? But then there's blasphemy, and blasphemy is really insane. Blasphemy is a very insane card. But if 
establishment is probably more of an insurance if you don't get energy relic. At least it makes the smites work with kunai. I'll do it, but it's probably always, always blasphemy there. So we can get rid of no longer smithing. Now that's unfortunate. We do have apotheosis. And there's also lesson learned in this class. But I do want to upgrade. I do want to upgrade battle him in establishment so I can play them ASAP. Right? Like these cards want to be played ASAP. So this feels really bad for that purpose. Do I want to get rid of potions though? Do I really want to do I want to upgrade these two cards more than I want potions? I don't think I do. And then we can look at pyramid. Pyramid is very insane. We can get more value out of spirit shield. But he can strike it in cloud to battle him. Uh, well, I might just take Soji there to upgrade these cards, maybe. But there's also events that upgrade cards, like selected cards, and you know it's not the worst. I mean, I'm not gonna cry over that. Do I do the sparkle in this act? I think the watcher is so strong, you can probably get away with doing three elites here. Uh, that means we're also not gonna do a shop. But I'm gonna go. I mean, how crazy is it for me to do a couple of elites here? I mean, the watcher is strong, and my deck has got damage, so I think I go for the three elites here. Try to maximize my power. But maybe I'm being too aggressive. There's a world. There's a world where I'm being too aggressive. No, establishment does not work with pyramids, nope. That would be busted indeed. These, these, cards are, these guys are actually kind of hard to kill. Mm, these guys are pretty hard to kill. I'm just taking a lot of damage. Hopefully I can get a conclude here and, and kill them. I would love a conclude here. We're going to definitely play some Monster Train later, absolutely. Fist to get out of the stances sometimes. Do I have enough block in my deck? Transform two cards. Transform two strikes or get energetic strength. Quick piece. Alright. Well, let's go. Some Marine Fury time. This could be crazy. I'm willing to admit this is potentially crazy. I want to get establishment played. I also just want to play this though. Hmm. Nah, I wish I had rush down so that I can play eruption and funeral evil. Unfortunately, I can't. Did I have lethal though? That's the question. I guess I should have. I should have analyzed whether or not I had lethal. I need to be able to get into Wrath more often and like without being scared of it because it's pretty important. It's pretty important that I enter Wrath and do damage, otherwise my deck is kinda trash. For instance, I should have just like I, I should be thinking more in terms of damage. Uh, I'm being too defensive. If Watcher is a damage queen. I should be focusing more on damage. Hmm. Like for instance, maybe there was a damage kill with flex spot there. If I did eruption flex spot, I think I had lethal with eruption flex spot. I need to just focus on that. That's the problem with the Watcher. I have to be so cognizant. Not a problem with the Watcher. I just have to be very cognizant of the amount of damage I have. So I'm always calculating that. And it's a little bit different. I have to get back in the watcher mindset. Because uh I'm probably sure I, I'm pretty sure I had flex spot lethal. Now, let me use the bathroom real quick.
Yeah, I feel like I'm, I have a feeling I'm, I'm having way too many attacks right now. I'm, I'm making a bad deck. I can just see how much life I'm losing as well. So I need to like... Bring it in. I need to move some of these strikes. I have to start skipping all this stuff. Big old pillow is fantastic. Thank the Lord. Let's take the halt. Let's really go Kunai and we need it. Alright. Big old pillow was a saving grace. Let's go. Mm. Let's see what this is. Sure. Spirit shield or just like get establishment out. I'm so scared of taking too much damage. It's crazy. We're gonna go ahead and do Simeon Fury. Or are we doing 18 damage? Simeon Fury, it is, boys. Oh shit, let's go. Flex spot time. Is it flex spot time? It's flex spot time, right? We can save that for the next elite, though. Now, we're gonna get two potions before then. Beautiful. Beautiful fight. Very fast. I got sustain. I'm so happy. We finally got some sustain. Ah, it feels really good. Getting some, some sustain is fantastic. Bigger Pillow was also a lifesaver, and White Beast should be some sustain in, in its own right as well. So now we have the ability to enter Calm with Tranquility. Um, so we now we have Eruption, Fear and Weevil, and Empty Fists. I want inner peace. Yeah, inner peace. Hmm. But even here, like, you know, that's pretty unprovided. See, my first turn should be battle him in establishment. And I'm, I'm actually, like, suffering so much from the fact that I can't do battle him establishment. I'm suffering quite a bit, actually. Because my first turns have been so inactive, and if I can just get those online, that'd be fantastic. In any case, we have some stuff here. If I do this, I could stay in Wrath form, which is quite useful. Just do fear no evil. The next turn we kill. Gorgeous. Swift pot. Let's go. Bowling bash. That is like a pretty damn good card. That's already upgraded. It helps pretty it helps with this boss as well. Helps with the slavers and gremlin leader. We're about to fight slavers and gremlin leader. Also works pretty well with Mutagenic Strength. That's a pretty damn bonkers card. Like, especially against Red Bowlanzer later on. So many attacks as it is, though. So many attacks as it is. Welcome back, Ventus. But also, we want to keep doing more Scry, right? Because we have, like, Golden Eye. And then Third Eye is a, a, a block card that Scries. And we kind of want a little bit more Scry so we can find Apotheosis sooner and stick through our deck. Not to mention, we also want some more block. So, this kind of takes both our boxes. This so takes the Scry box. And it ticks the block box. The block box. But let's go back to this upgraded bowling bash, which is gonna be quite relevant in this next two elite fights. Because both of these elite fights are gonna have multiple enemies. Hmm. I do need to move some of these strikes. Whoa. Oh shit. Whoa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I wanna drop out here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Black box, black box, black box, black box. This is going to be a turn, guys. This is gonna be a turn. This is gonna be one of those turns. One of them good turns. 
They talk about these turns. Power pot, beautiful. Third eye plus, gorgeous. 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 Say it with me, guys. He's gorgeous. Oh my lord. I should have done power pot first. Whoopsies. Not that it matters. Uh, I wish I could. Battle him is. I need a way to upgrade that somehow. Somehow, some way. I don't want this, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that. I guess I want spirit shield next turn. Let's go. Next turn's gonna be a big one, boys. This is about to be a doozy. Unless we have lethal. I mean, I guess I didn't take into account if lethal was a thing. Maybe I should have. I'll just do this. Because I don't have Battleman play. That's correct. Correct and unfortunate. But we should win now. Beautiful. Ah, we don't need any of these cards. All right, the decks coming together. Ooh, apparitions. Now we can play apotheosis and upgrade all the apparitions in our deck. Then we lose regal pillow value. So we're gonna go, we go to the next campfire. We recall. Um, our deck does lack a little bit of block, and apparitions are pretty damn good. And they are gonna be upgraded. I mean, I don't lose value from Pillow. Like, actually, it actually, Pillow actually helps with Apparitions, because with less max HP, you heal for less, and Pillow can actually be like a nice full heal sometimes. You don't really lose value from Pillow. It's actually not bad, because you pr practically get a full heal, because it's you're nearly your full max HP. But, um, I mean, I, I'm going to go down to 34 HP, so I, I lose value out of my sustain a little bit, because I take less damage, and maybe I don't need to sustain as much. It's, but even then, it's also an argument where the sustain is more useful, because relative to your total max HP, you actually can heal back up pretty well. I mean, you can stay in Wrath form longer. Sure. Sure, let's do it. Uh, let's, let's roll the dice. Let's play Battle him. Uh, it's a little bit of a waste of damage, but whatever. I feel like just playing both apparitions here. Staying in the swarm. I could have got rid of a lot of the days with third eye. We don't need this. Another spiritual. Now, spiritual is a little awkward, right? Because it's like it's like a fantastic block card, but we have apparitions, so our block does is not as necessary. Whereas tantrum is consistent wrath form, which helps us do damage, which is pretty damn important to have consistent wrath form. You know, I feel like. But a second spiritual is very good. I mean, we're still going to want to block after that person's out of our deck. Tantrum gives us the ability to do shit tons of damage by giving us its consistent wrath form, which we probably want. Hmm. Is it, is it ever just not spiritual too and just tantrum? Let's go. It's 
Okay, I want to get dexterity. Is that going to help me? Sometimes. Part of me wants to do Simmer and Fury next turn so I can draw into Apparition for sure. I'm wasting a miracle for that. Or that. It's fine. That works too. Take one damage here, it's fine. Scroll is pretty good here. Scroll versus Devotion. Devotion is a power that heals me and it gives me the ability to enter divinity, which is quite insane. It's just scroll. You choose less cards. When you exit calm, you get even more energy, or you can sh add miracles, which is pretty good because I have apotheosis, right? So these miracles are each two energy. So that might be a little bit better with scroll, two energy miracles because of apotheosis. What do you guys think? Six worth of energy there? I think about Lotus Flower, I think it's a it's a tricky. I think relying on this purely as an energy relic doesn't feel great. Because you have to do a lot of calm manipulation and stuff like that. But it has potential. It doesn't feel as good as your standard energy relic, but it has potential to, to do to be more than an energy relic like, than usual. It just depends on the deck. It, it needs some stuff. Clogs in hand. Clogs the hand. Well, well. I mean, I can just use them in the first returns with scroll and stuff. All right. So what do we gotta do? We gotta go to a nice. We gotta find mind bloom, right? And then an elite, mind bloom and elite. We don't we don't want to do too many campfires because they're useless for us. So mind bloom over here, or mind bloom over here. Let's do mind bloom over there. Check this out. Foresight. Force is pretty good. I could heal, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal regardless. I guess I should see what potion she has, but I want to keep my gold. Heal some more, right? With the powers we have two powers we can play, or at least one power. Let's, let's play the power before the fight's over. I can kill it, I can just I can heal another fight, it's fine. 
Do I like, do I like evaluate here? So what's going to be our consistent block? Once our apparitions are all said and done, once our apparitions are all said and done, what's going to be our consistent block? And we're going to have kunai stuff, right? But I don't know. Does our deck consistently block? It needs to remove these strikes. Let me check out the shop. I, I, I won't go for the shop over the event. I'm forced to rest anyways, guys, so... Unfortunately. I didn't give me anything, even a shot. Shopping brew? This is more card draw. Do I like card draw? Yeah, I do. Traffic brew. I want to keep these these potions. I want to keep them for the because if I get uh, pellets here, I want I want. Okay, that's exactly why I want to keep them. So we don't get calipers, but we get clockwork souvenir, and that's pretty good. We get talk to the hand is huge. I take a quick clockwork souvenir. I'm done. Great shop. I know I really want to move strikes. I know I want to move strikes, but. I like it a lot. Oh wait, no, it always, it always gives me three strength. Fuck, I get, I'll take three strength, it's fine. I forget, it always means strength, strength always exists. I forget sometimes. I, I lost calipers though, it's, it's a little sad. I lost calipers. I always forget about regen strength. Uh, this is good, but like for three strength, uh, it's fine. Three strength is fine. I forgot what we want to do with these potions. Uh, we're trying to scry here. Am I doing apparition here? I don't need, I don't need to, yeah? Oh, I'll hold on to one of them. I'm forced to rest, so I might as well enter wrath here. I'm gonna enter wrath next turn. I can play that shit. The strength is quite nice. Mall bank? You gotta be shitting me. Ambitions is huge. I'm just gonna keep resting, boys. Alright, we gotta get rid of Molten Egg. We don't need it. Alright, Bowling Bash turn one will be huge. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna focus all my damage on her. Is that crazy of me? As soon as I get Bowling Bash, the fight's over. Hmm. Should I be careful? Because I don't have Foresight out. I could just die next turn. I should be careful. I don't have Foresight out, and I could just die next turn. <clears throat> this is really bad. I don't have Foresight out. This works. Easy. Never punished. Now if I do uh, Omniscient's Bowling Bash, uh, I can kill her, right? I get to choose. Oh, does he get to choose? That's interesting. Yeah, it's good for science. Oh, well, I don't need that card anyways. Who needs that card? Flurry? Fukunai stuff? I mean, we also have... We also have, like, uh... What's it called? What do we have? Talk to the Hint, that's what I wanted to say. We also have Talk to the Hint. Damn, I can't play on missions now. I guess I could have actually. 
Nah, because that's a wasted campfire, and I'd rather get all these events to get that juicy mind bloom. It's a wasted campfire. It's disgusting. It's gross. Want to see something cute, guys? Check this out. I didn't talk to the hand. I was going to do double foresight. I think this is just better. I lied. I was going to do talk to the hand, though. And then I realized... So I was going to do foresight, but then I realized I like that better. Is there a new game? Nah, it's not a new game. I wish I have lethal, yeah? Or oh, weakened? We'll do this. It's a battle him plus. Hey, should we just take that actually? Because we want we want the smites early. And now we have two battle hymns in our deck. That's troll, right? We don't take a second flurry either, do we? And Flurry gives us Kunai and gives us a lot of talk to the hand. But we don't have establishment opening hand either. But it's a, the smites are not that bad because. Oh, Awaken one, right? Alright, let's see what. Mm, nope. Let's see this. Oh, we got Mind Bloom. Let's go. Try game block. That's not the worst power. I also don't want it though. Oh, we got a shot. Oh my god, membership card. Uh, a second tantrum. I mean, with talk to the hand, second tantrum is pretty good, huh? Who gets left for void complete and void brawler? You put death cap on. Uh, you put it on Belkaz. So the trick is, man, in TFT, is that. Sometimes you just have to make the items that you have, and you can't be too picky. So I got three. I got first places the last three games that I did. And go take a look at what I put on my, my stuff. Go take a look. Go take a look. Actually, I think I could hit top ten in TFT right now. No, 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 no troll. I think I could hit top ten in the current patch of TFT. But it's just a grind. Like I don't know. I would have to just like grind it out. What's a good omniscience? Talk to the hand's not that good because this guy's gonna die, right? If you guys want, I can go. For, I can push for top challenger. I'm, I'm master 46 LP right now. I can push for like top challenger of TFT if you guys want. I feel like I know this patch so well right now. It's weird though, as soon as I figured out the patch and all that stuff, I, I stopped wanting to play it as much because Mantra Train exists. And Mantra Train is pretty fun. But also, and when you figure something out, you lose a little bit of interest, right? But okay. So what's the best? Yeah, I mean, if I get top challenge, then it would help for sure for viewers. I need more water. Alright, so what is the best thing to uh, missions here? Is it just always Foresight? Was it talk to the hand on this guy actually? 
It's always, it's, is, it, is it target the hand? Wait, I don't get to choose, yeah? So it's always force hit. I could save the apparition. Is that gonna matter? Is saving that person gonna matter? Maybe one I wanna play Battle Him, right? We got Funeral Evil, we got Bowling Bash, we got Scrawl, we got Inner Peace, we got we got a lot of good stuff here. Okay. So Bowling Bash is nuts. Yeah, there's a lot of good shit here. Okay. Establishment in this fight. Maybe we play Apparition next turn. I don't think so. I think we just play this next turn. And we just win with that. Oh, okay. The double tantrum is a little bit of troll. I wish I bought calibers in that shop. I didn't have money for it though. Now we're doing this again. Hmm. I want to scry first. Let's get three no evil. Do we apparition for this? We don't need apparition for this one, right? We don't need apparition for this one? Because we're not going to have to talk to them for the second phase, so I need apparitions for the second phase. Probably going to do flex spot to kill the second phase. Mm. And Dorn Deck is kind of hard axe, well. Okay, let me do the math. Wait, I press cancel. do that. Okay, okay let's try to kill this. I just want to get to the second phase. Um, the second is a little scary though. Just a little bit. Okay. 
try to get apparition here, and then go for the kill. I'm, turn I'm curious how time here is going to be. Uh, this next turn is off, off for it. I should use that version at this point though. I can leave smites to establishment. I can use that version at this point. But I also can full block. I don't know why I had full block, I'm stupid. I hope I'm not throwing for the next fight. That'll be really bad. I play out my powers. Yeah. I didn't throw for the next fight. That'll be really, 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 really bad. Oh, it's time meter. It's left fight for this guy. Scary boy. I'm gonna play three cards next turn. I'm just gonna talk to the hand next turn. Mm. Or should I go, go for lethal? Uh, I didn't check if I had lethal or not. Say that person's here. Maybe. Let's try to see if we get lethal here. cars next turn. Hey yo. What's up, Kitty Pie? Kill him. I want to like try to do it. Kill him within like yeah, um. I think some fear is pretty useful next turn. Uh, yeah, let's do this. We're doing too much damage. Let's try not to do too much damage, right? Because I want to kill him next turn. But he's gonna get hit by this anyway, so. 
Maybe I should use flex. Um, but flex could be good for the... I'm weakened. Just flex to it. Let me think. Uh, play six cards. He has 168 life. Alright, flex adds. Because I'm weak into that, it's a little bit different, right? I'm just flex out in here. So if I don't have lethal, it's not worth going for it. Let me see how much I have just right now. Okay, so I have 22. 50, 68, um, 104, just flex add, 64 damage, it doesn't, I can play 6 cards, so if I scroll into, I don't have evil. I'm weakened. So since I'm weakened, um, we have no talk to the hand now. We do have an apparition though. I probably don't need the pot, but you know, now that he's going to clear this, then I'll be able to harder to block next turn. I only have six cards next turn. So we just don't have lethal. Flexbot is help, but I don't need the pot to win at this point, right? Nah, I can save it for the, the actual elite. Should I empty fish just to be careful, or I have, I have danger coming up? Should I empty fish to be careful? If I did empty fist, I could just do flurry blows and keep the miracle. Fuck me. If I did empty fist, I could, I could just do flurry blows and, and not. Fuck, I forgot about flurry blows. Oops. Okay, let's keep flex for this actual elite. A little bit, like a little bit of stuff that I have to manage, but eh, that deck's pretty strong there. Get water. Hey, a nice, beautiful rest. Can't wait. With no gold, membership card. Don't you love it? Got membership card and no gold. Absolutely glorious. Why did I buy membership card again? Who knows? Let's go. Next turn could be. I could just die next turn. By the way, if I if I if I stay in wrath, I could just die next turn. Am I going to be crazy and enter eruption? I I could just straight up die next turn. I guess so. I guess we're going to be crazy. Could just straight up die next turn. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's unfortunate. Let's see. Um, we're supposed to. Okay, let's see. Are we supposed to. We're supposed to. See what's in Tropic. I can 
Perfect. So Bowling Bash doesn't kill, right? How much strength do I have? I have Flex Bar right now. So in total I have how much? Okay, he did negative strength, so I have 7 strength right now. So Bowling Bash is doing... Plus 7, so 17. So it's going to be 34. 34 times 2. On so one target. That's not enough. But it plays 3 cards, right? So... We can do it to do this. I had to lose reflex, unfortunately. An unfortunate loss. Nothing to stack here, there's like no meta scaling that I have to do. Just in the game. Kind of good. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to the hands all I need here. In my opinion, all I need is a mission to talk to the hand. I just want to save our life, but our life is pretty precious here. Next turns are gonna be kind of rough, so we need to make sure we get apparitions for the next turns. So what I'm gonna do is, I want to play establishment, but hmm, I think it's pretty important that we get apparitions next turn. And this is a little bit rough. Establishment is it worth playing on the first rotation, or staying alive more important? Staying alive is more important. Vamos. Is this going to be our biggest turn? Is this going to be our biggest turn here? Probably should be. I want a mission, so I want stuff like that. Oh, huh, inner peace. So we can do some things like that, like... Flurry, inner peace, get some dexterity going on right now. We don't talk to the hand at the moment. Maybe we look for missions right now. Alright, so. Let's do this first. How much damage am I willing to take here? We got our missions. I think it's GG now. I want to play Foresight. GG. So we just need to get out. I have one, two, and then what? I got rid of four. So that's out of six, I got rid of four. Oops. Three other cards in my deck. Apparition. I forgot to think about pendant there. Whoops. Of the black, black thing. How you doing, buddy? All right, GG boys. This is a march on home. In, bef in before he loses. In before Jeremiah somehow loses.
much is he doing? 60? Apparition because we go for the kill, right? I guess we don't need your apparition now. We save it. Yeah, I guess we can save it. I look like a bit like Pen Badger. I've been told that, yeah. I, I get told that quite a bit in this channel. I, did you like my show, you? you enjoyed it? Good, good run. All right. Turns out, guys, if you just have some apparitions and a bottle of apotheosis, things get pretty easy. Bottle apotheosis just kind of won the run for us. 